Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Welcome to your full moon reading, known as the Beaver Moon, November 19th, 2021. There's something that bears no fruit, something that's a waste of energy, a waste of time. For some of you guys, you could be realizing that a thought pattern was a waste of time. Something is holding up your time. Something doesn't bear any fruit. You can only pull something but so far. The other work they have to do themselves. It's almost like know your worth in the situation. Strong emphasis on the mindset. Thinking negatively about something, about an outcome. Specifically, partnerships. Romantic partnerships, friendship, friendships, unity, units, unity, connections. Thinking negatively on them bears no type of fruit for you. What messages do we have for Libra? Got the magician with the temperance card. I want to I want to say work with the angels. It's like using all your power in a sense. The magician is a sense of alchemy. And I feel like the temperance is also in a sense of alchemy. Working with the elements. Working with all things. Using all of your tools. Also, there's some type of blessing from the angels. There's a new beginning. You got the justice at the bottom of the deck too. All major arcana. There's a new beginning set from the angels. There's a sense that you're ready for this. I feel like you, this is, you're realizing that a negative mindset, that's why I said emphasis on the mindset. A negative mindset bears you no fruit. It's like you got your back turned to everything that isn't in alignment to you. Anything that doesn't look like the journey, it's like your back is turned towards it. This is pure focus. This is also trusting the divine. Trusting a carved out plan before you even see it. The fool doesn't see. The fool doesn't see anything. Hmm. Will of Fortune, big things are changing with the star at the bottom of the deck. Putting put, You being in alignment like this creates a change, creates the Will of a Fortune uh, movement, creates destiny, creates faith, makes the wheels turn. It's like about damn time. This new moon definitely can bring in a lot of new energy to have you focus on the goal ahead. If anything, it's not the goal ahead. It does not have your attention. This clear, decisive focus brings major change in your life. Also, it brings a major desire. It brings something that you've been wanting, something that you've been praying for, something that you've been focused on. Yep, change. Change is all around the board. Change is all around the board. So at first you were in fear. You were in fear trying to stop something. You were in fear, afraid to move, negative mindset, but you decided to keep going. 
that brings you some type of shine. It brings you vibrancy, some type of passion, some type of inspiration, feeling inspired. It's the discipline to keep going, to keep going to what it is that you want. So this is not saying that you guys weren't scared or you're not scared or you're not fearing what's ahead of you. This is saying that you're not letting though that negative mindset trick you out of getting what, what it is you desire. That change. Exploring a whole new world. Exploring a whole opposite world. Exploring something that the shadow side could have tried to talk you out of. You got the king of swords at the bottom of the deck and deep thought. Some of you guys could be in deep thought right now, thinking about some type of move, but this here is just so good. The temperance, the fool, and the will of fortune. Being in full alignment, willing to take some type of leap of faith. Willing to trust as well. That could also be a, a, um, some type of leap of faith on reconciliation. A negative mindset doesn't do you any good. It's like all you need is a mustard seed of faith. And action and movement in the right direction. And you get your light. You get your shine. You get the inspiration. You get your fire. You get your desire. Realizing that it bears no fruit. The ultimate realization. Setting boundaries. Threshold protection, honor. Do you have tenderness here? I feel like this is definitely you setting boundaries to what you give to this negative mindset to. This nine of swords energy. Protecting yourself against that is also setting boundaries. It's also knowing what you can and can't handle. This is also hidden knowledge. A silent understanding. A silent understanding. It's like almost that understanding where you don't have to say anything. You just give yourself a nod. Like, okay, we know now. Okay, I get it now. I'm hip now. This is the end to some type of negative mindset. <clears throat> Got the magician trying to pop out over here. So being fully equipped. Some type of training brought you fully equipped. This temperance card is sitting down like it's disciplined, like it knows better, like it's been through, like it understands. Some of you guys are going to be understanding this with a person. This is strongly could be with a person, but I'm strongly feeling this is internal. This is some type of, this is that nine of swords card. That internal suffering, that inner self-sabotage. You're learning that that gets you nowhere. more about the temperance I just said that magician card is trying to come out and that magician card came right on out <laughs> having all your tools you've been around the world you've explored you've been there done that some of you guys are realizing your peace means a lot. Some of you guys are realizing the importance, the value of your peace, your inner peace. Some of you guys are understanding the value of sitting still. Meditation, and you have the chariot card. Discipline, keep walking in your purpose. It's like the magician that had to do everything to earn its stripes is now sitting back and letting the universe. It's now understanding the power of its manifestations. 
understanding what they actually can create understanding what they actually can summon into your life tell me more about the fool Taking the leap of faith on stability. Some of you guys are about to create a family. Some of you guys are creating a family. Some of you guys, pregnancy is very, very big as well. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Some of you guys could be taking the leap of faith to start this new journey in your life. Some of you guys are taking a leap of faith to buy a home. But I feel like for some of you guys, you're taking a leap of faith on building some type of stability with somebody else or within yourself. This could strongly be with some type of Aquarius or um, Capricorn or Aries, Virgo, Gemini. Or we have Sagittarius. We got Pisces here. Got Cancer here, Aries. <laughs> Just everybody. Taking a leap of faith. Giving your valuables to somebody else. Or sharing that of yourself, sharing your gifts. You could be sharing your gifts to the world, presenting yourself in an authentic nature to the world. That's what you did here. This is also you stepping through the door, stepping through a new chapter. Tell me more about the Will of Fortune. King of Swords, your mind is made up. It's like you're ready now, moving in action. At first, you wasn't going to move. At first, you were holding yourself back. Now you're standing up, taking, authority, taking a more authoritative position. Taking a deeper stance on your life. It's almost like you're seeking a change. It's almost like you're seeking something new. This could be you seeking something new. It's almost like you're looking for it, looking for a change. Looking for something new. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. This confusion could be coming from some type of strong feelings that you have from somebody. The feeling of being rejected, I feel. Of putting yourself out there and not having a person or not having that thing want you as much as you want it. Not feeling like your desires don't want you as much as you want them. But this is actually you freeing yourself of that mindset. This King of Cups is coming in here to bring some more spiritual some type of spiritual intelligence, also meditation, spiritual guidance to keep you guided. It's like even though when you were in the dark, you still were seeking the light. It's like you're seeking a change, trying to seek the change. You're looking for it. Tell me more about the chariot. You got the justice card on top with the moon. Some of you guys just kept on moving forward. It didn't look like that things were going to turn out in your favor, but they actually do. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Hmm. This is like all the abundance. All the abundance showering down on you. 
This is from you feeling attacked, feeling like you were, it was you against the world. Could have been, but I know you was in your mind a lot, so. It could have been, okay? This is looking so good for you, Libra. Like so, so, so good. Let me get a couple of these message cards out. And let's see what we get. And then we're gonna go ahead and clarify. Oracle card, setting boundaries and open, opening yourself up to the tenderness, true love and compassion. What messages do we have for Libra? What messages do we have for Libra? You are on the right path. You are on the right path. There's some type of new man, new energy. You could be stepping up, opening up, taking a leap of faith on a relationship, creating some type of stability. Definitely could be a new romantic cycle. Some type of luck is on your side. You got not my peeps here. Setting boundaries to things that don't serve you. People that don't serve you. Something bears no fruit. Doing your self work. You have alarm clock. Wake up. Wake up and do your self work. Sing along. Might want to listen to your favorite song. You have no weapon. Definitely putting it out. Ended it on positivity and I love me. Okay. You got the soulmate connection falling out the deck. It's the Six of Cups card. Some of you guys could be in your head about some type of past situations, some type of past events. Or you can just be real nostalgic, like you're um, getting things that remind you of memories of the past. Going to different places. Watching shows, old shows, old sitcoms. other messages this Libra setting boundaries too walking away from things and people that do not serve you anymore and following your heart being true to the connection and true to the things that you really want following your heart it's almost this is like the schoolgirl crush this person doesn't care they're following their heart getting out of your mind these people that was bearing no fruit around you or these things or whatever was holding you back, whether it was your own mindset, this is what gets you into this dark mode anyway. There's a new beginning coming. Tell me more. Resting sitting back and resting, finally being at peace. It's like all the things that don't bring you a sense of love, compassion, tenderness, lightheartedness in life. Letting go of those things and focusing on your peace and happiness at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Okay, this looks amazing. You're focusing on you. Understanding that some other 
whether it's a negative mindset, whether it's a person, something doesn't bear any fruit. This is your understanding. It's like a, this could literally be like a light switch. Like a light switch. The light could be switched on. Something cooked. Do we have for Libra? Look at the bigger picture. Got the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. That's what you're doing this whole time. You're looking at the outside world. It's almost like you're not trying to prove yourself anymore. It's like you're ready for the world. Looking at the bigger picture. That's where you are. Calm. Emotions definitely could be running high, so make sure you take care of yourself. Time to release negativity. <laughs> At the full moon in Scorpio, a new romantic cycle be begins. So it's like releasing something, bringing something in. Like I told you, something bears no fruit. Something is like moving into the new direction. Like doing something this way is not going to work for you. Okay? So that's the full moon reading that I have for you guys. Beautiful reading. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video.